Hello folks, just a quick video today. Um, so you're out cruising around in your, your BMW R1250 GS or 1200 or uh, Harley with the cross spoked rims and you break a spoke, you, you fall on a rock or whatever. What effect does that have on the rim? Today, that's what we're gonna show. So our setup here is basically we've taken a rim and we've labeled all of the spokes one through 20 and then what we're going to do is we're going to remove spoke 16. That's going to represent our broken or missing spoke for whatever reason. So what we have here is um, our base rim profile. Okay, we went through, we measured the lateral runout for each spoke 1 through 20. Um, and then put the measurements in Excel and made this neat little graph here. So this shows us the rim profile, how it moves left and right. Um, right now it's about 0.98 uh, lateral run out overall. Now we move here and we've got a good comparison of what it originally was and now what it is afterward. Now again, spoke number one is my zero. The effect of losing spoke 16 had more effect on the opposite side of the rim than it did where 16 is. You see that base profile is very similar to what it started as, except for up around spoke three, the, again, the opposite. Now here's the next part of this, okay? Now we've replaced spoke 16. We got a new one, we put it in there. And what we did is we did the ping test, right? So you put a new spoke in and you take a screwdriver and you, and you tap each spoke and you get ting, 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 all the way through. And, it, that spoke 16, you didn't torque it, but you made it sound like all of the surrounding spokes to it. Okay, and so this is our new profile. And now we've got our comparative profiles here. Again, the red being when the spoke was missing, the yellow being when the new one was put back in. Again, notice that spoke 16 was the one we replaced, but the biggest effect was the opposite side of the rim. Now this comparison is from where we started, the base in blue, that was the original rim profile. Now we've replaced that spoke. This is the new one. You see our profile, it's getting back to kind of where it was. You can see where this rim is, isn't perfectly true, um, but we're back where we started, uh, very close. And here's just the final comparison, all three profiles. You can see the original base measurement in blue, the missing spoke in red, and the new spoke installed uh, there in the yellow. You know, you can see that the, the profile didn't change enough that you would be concerned if you were out there on the road. However, every spoke has um, a, a job to do and they all support each other and you need 20 on each side to fully support that rim. Um, you, you can see that you missed spoke 16, that's the one that's gone. The opposite side of the rim really carried all of that weight now. Um, and that's where the biggest change was. So could you run on it? Yeah, is it is it up to full spec? Nah, it's not, so be careful. All right, everybody, thank you for watching this video. Please give it a like, please subscribe. I don't do this for the money. I'm not a YouTuber. I just like to experiment and share what I find. Um, please keep an eye out and I'll be releasing more soon. Thanks, have a great day.